Hey guys, we're watching more OKKO OK Let's Be Heroes. And if you guys want us to watch more OKKO, OK then please get this video to 12,000 likes. And check out the Patreon for the uncut commentary and also exclusive videos. We're watching Avatar The Last Airbender there right now. Subscribe. These are my homies, Peach. Hashtag Sir and Chuka. I love the way this scene looks. It's it's so scrunkles where it's man. The show they got canceled. Craig had to go do different things. <laughs> Craig went off to buy roller skates, bro. That's the only money he made off the show. So you wanna like hang with us or whatever? Sure. Enid gives like oldest sibling vibes. You know what I mean? Like the most chaotic shit conceivable could be happening in the same room. And she just has the mental capacity to just zone it all out. She gives the babysitter that does not pay attention to the children and still gets paid like somehow. She put the kids to work. She gains nothing from being lifted like that. It's purely like for the principle of I support child labor. That's what she's all about. Put some hashtag stank on this one. Hashtag Hashtag stank. That was one of the worst lines, I think, in media history. This is fucking Brazil, dude. This is just POV. You're in Brazil. You could kick like a, a football. A football. <laughs> To, like any person in Brazil and they could fucking handle that shit, dude. They do 20 keep ups like it's nothing. Maybe that's why they're telling us to come to Brazil. Uh, hi there, boys. <laughs> He's such a cute little goober. That is such a good moment, but it makes so much sense for the show too. The socks and sandals though. We should take this guy out back and kill him if I'm being completely honest with you. We should get a lighter and burn his ass because he's literally of tumbleweed. Launch. There's so much leg in this show, you know what I mean? There's too much leg. Like, Enid is literally 95% leg. It's like, you know in Spongebob where you see that it's like 50% C, 50% weed? Yeah. Enid is like 50% leg, 50% more leg. How did they get away with that? How did this is a children's... Children's media. <laughs> I guess the children gotta learn. They gotta learn somehow. Why do you wear them all the time? 3D glasses don't even look like that anymore. She is chump checking these motherfuckers. Is this episode trying to have like a message right now or something? This episode is for kids who are trying too hard. Like stop being such a fucking loser. <laughs> If you don't try too hard, you get bullied at school. So you have to put up the front. We're, we are trained in society to put up a front as to how we really are since day one, okay? Who am I? <laughs> he wrote a book. What? He went to college? He's a doctor. What? Dude. Thank you. Thank you. What? What? That was like the best episode of the show. <laughs> You can borrow this while I'm gone. <gasps> Brad's name tag. Why does that mean he doesn't have to work? <laughs> that doesn't change anything. A new friend. More than friends, dude. <gasps> this lesson of this episode is going to be so good. Ko's going to realize that not being yourself lets you riz up hot shorties. No, the, obviously the message of the episode is going to be that Tony the Tiger is the hottest furry character ever made. <laughs> Brad isn't just some muscular jock. Oh, I put a fucking red asterisk under the misspelling. <laughs> yeah, they got autocorrect in real life now, Chad. That's crazy. I love that joke. Name tag? Why is it the fucking, it's like raining, it's sad, it's playing the fucking, yo, this is amazing. The fucking music is going off right now. Oh my Lord. Oh, this is so beautiful. You stole my name tag. I'll give it back. You gave it to him. I knew that they were gonna do something with the name tag, but I did not expect them to go this direction with this episode. Welcome everybody to the ninth annual rat off. Jack, this is the problem with your name, that they could never make this joke in a children's cartoon with your name. Like you can't just tell everybody we're gonna be doing a jack off. We can do a jack off. <laughs> Why did his fucking jaw drop like fucking Looney Tunes anvil sound effect? Are we supposed to punch each other with rhymes? More or less. Dude, like 400 things have happened this one. Now they're doing a rap battle. This is so funny. Oh my. What? She pulling out. What? What? Wolf, wolf, wolf. I'm howling at the moon right now. Oh my lord. Afro Poofy. Ears tipped. 
You goofy. <laughs> you goofy. <laughs> oh, fucking shot, dude. This is the f white boy here's rap music for the first time. <laughs> I like to burp and I like to toot. I like how even though his rap is completely fucking different, he's still getting like the bad ass poses that Rad was getting. You know what I mean? It's the same camera angle. If you really were Rad, you'd know that. <laughs> the way he talks about himself in the third person like that. It's so Dude, he's struggling from toxic masculinity right now. Like, Rad goes home and he cries in his pillow for an hour every single night. Dude, we don't care about this robot. Ever since we got introduced to the baddie robot, it's like, why am I supposed to care about you, buddy? Because Mr. Gar about to fucking bust on this guy. He's got the cup of Joe, too. No, he's got the Joe Cup of Cup of Joe. The Joe Cup of merch. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Eden's just dancing. Eden is just busting it down, s style. Imagine Mr. Gar is your dad and you go to school and someone tries to tell you that their dad is cooler than your dad. <laughs> Good luck winning that fucking argument. He would take off the five sunglasses that he's wearing on top of each other and kill your dad. I learned how amazing he really is. Well, what does Mr. Gar do during the day? Because he's the he owns the gas station. He's a full-time landlord, dude. He has a lot of work, okay? He had to raise three single mothers rent last week alone. He had to evict a family of five. That'll be... 12 technos, sir. Dude, her fucking hair is awesome. Wait, so does she not have thick thighs in the flashback? Or when does that come into play? Like, what's the timeline? She grew them in college or whatever. She They, like, develop. Yo, they sell feet at this place? What the fuck? Why aren't... Isn't the meat refrigerated? <laughs> this shit is just all in the cabinets. That's just rotten. The health inspector is gonna come in here and shut this place down, dude. Mr. Gar, he's gonna get sued, bro. Without any regard or empathy for my fellow man. Wow. Ew. What was that? Why did you touch him like that? Why did it make that sound effect? To its final destination to fulfill its duty. <laughs> Wait, so the whole plaza is just a fucking rope? What? This is propaganda. Can we talk about this? Is this propaganda right now? We shouldn't take this at face value. This is most likely Lake Plaza propaganda. So I guess none of that actually happened. They found Updog. They have Updog in stock. They did it. <laughs> What's up, dog? Nothing much. What's up with you? You called for my assistance, KO. Yes, Dandy. If this was a sitcom, the audience would be clapping. They just screamed. That's what just happened. We were talking over it. Mr. Gar here is overcompensating for his receding hairline with muscles. Hey! That's literally me, though. Can we just talk about that? She just pinpointed all my insecurities right there. This is like the most words I've heard come out of a minion's mouth in my entire life. All I'm hearing is banana. banana. This is kind of like Ben Shapiro. If, if Ben Shapiro was like a cute autism creature, you know what I mean? If Ben Shapiro was like lovable, you know? Where did they go? Oh, they're still there. Okay. I thought they got flushed to like the poop dimension or some shit. Huh? What? What? He turned into a fucking PS2 model. This is fucking awesome. This is smiling, friends. This is so creative. It's such an interesting way of like displaying something getting hacked. Someone's gonna be mad at me for saying this, but this feels like a gumball episode I've seen already. It, it's like different art styles, right? Yeah. This like gumball if it was good, bro. Let, let's be honest. Is that fucking Brian Griffin? I swear to God, that was fucking Brian Griffin. Oh my God, it literally is Brian Griffin. <laughs> Throw things at his face. Look at how wide Dendi is in that frame. She's literally little fucking autism creature. Oh my God, look at her. She looks like the autism creature incarnate. Jeez, how'd he get through the barricade? Dude, her ass is holding up the whole barricade right now. <laughs> That's how powerful her booty cheeks are. She does not skip leg day her squats probably more than yours she could squat like 20 of me bro her ass is insane 
Among Us. That predates Among Us, though. Amoingo, Boingo, Godoingo, Floingo, Autism, Creature, Sus, Skibbity. <laughs> so that the last thing we see before we go is a friendly face. Do I ship them? Is that wrong? I guess in like a adorbs way, but they're just kids at the end of the day. If I preface with the hashtag adorbs, can I ship them? <laughs> I love the way this episode is animated. It's really cool. The way Dendi is animated, I feel like there must have been an instruction like, don't animate this character like you would animate a normal human being. Because the way her body contorts and like the poses that she makes, she looks more like a frog than a human being. Like 99% of the time this episode. I'm just glad everyone's okay now. Bro's talking through the fucking Turtle Beach headset right now. <laughs> That's the only thing his mom would buy for him, bro. He can't afford it anything else xbox voice chat sounding ass. that episode was pretty good Laws olympics baby dude these judges are crazy they got the guy from mario rpg on the left are you kidding me oh it's gumball gumball child gumball chan <laughs> Dude, it's just Enid's legs on the left. That was so funny. I love how Teo's height in comparison to Enid is like so inconsistent. It, it always changes. It always change. Oh, I love it. Brandon, a real magic skeleton. Yes. And Drew. This is like when the coach is making teams in gym class and you're standing next to your friend and you're like, you go one ahead of me, bro. You see you see the coach doing a one, two, one, two. And you're like, bro, switch with me, bro. Please switch with me, bro. Please. Or, or the coach just it forgets your name in the cat the fucking class well that never happened to me because i'm not forgettable I'm, I'm i'm sorry that that happened to you jack i'm sorry that that's a unique situation that only you have faced i thought you liked getting participation trophies potato he got picked with the broccoli <laughs> he's gonna lose this is spilling the milk Th uh, these three kids are spilling the milk core obviously is broccoli right can we just talk about that yeah core is the broccoli guy i am the bunny and you're ko it's time to dip up or wipe up <laughs> it's so weird it's time to dip up or wipe up <laughs> someone give this baby cte i'm tired okay. we need to kill this child <laughs> He broke his fucking torso. He is dead. That's fucking horrifying. That's your child. That's your child. She gave her a two, the pity two. This is a Sisyphus. The boulder push. This baby is getting so much CTE. It's fucking horrifying. I love the baby. I feel like the trend of like actual mainstream like animation just using YouTube sound effects is objectively funny. It's so good. <laughs> Aww. Dude, this is the fucking Ishigami in Love is War, bro. That's literally Ishigami's entire character arc surmised in like one fucking episode right here. I love Roots. <laughs> oh, it's her, it's her brother. Oh my God. That's awesome. Yeah. Yay. This is so wholesome. I'm so happy the broccoli is good. Is he going to increase his hero level now or is he still like hard cap level zero? No, Mr. Gar's going to increase his rent now and his mom's not going to be able to pay it. <laughs> is this a one income household? Oh, um, I'm kind of busy. <laughs> he chump checked out. He gets mad for it now. It's just too delicious. <laughs> <laughs> he's dreaming. He's gonna wake up and see me like, eh, 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 eh. Does he have his favorite song as his alarm sound though? Okay, what's his favorite song? He's got the I'm in love with the Rizzler song as his fucking alarm clock. <laughs> Sticking out your yard for the Rizzler. So the thing is that you're already referencing something really niche, but then you're referencing it wrong. So no one knows what you are talking about. Isn't it like, I'm in love with the Rizzler? How does it go? It's sticking out my gap for the Rizzler. Okay. Okay, so this is who he's gay with. Professor Venomous or whatever. He's so hot. Wait, he brought his daughter to the date? It's like the fifth date, you know what I mean? Like, as, as someone with gay parents, you know what I mean? If you have kids, you have to introduce the kids on, like, like once, you, once you've once you been for, like, six months, you can't... Only gay people introduce their kids to their partners? Is that it? Yes. Yes, specifically. <sighs> Sorry about that. Dude, this is like a two-prom sitcom plot, but it's a evil villain balancing his dates. What the fuck are we watching? It's like when you have two dates to prom, right? Like that's obviously what it's parroting, but it's a fucking villain. <laughs> so unprofessional. 
As if we're not important enough to be tortured. They want to be tortured. Rod, Rod hates being fucking second fiddle, man. Dude, here's the thing. In the beginning of the show, I was like, Boxman sucks. There's no way for them to make Boxman interesting. He's such a lame superhero. Here's what they did. Superhero? Bad villain. Here's what they did. They gave him a baddie robot. They gave him a fart sound effect. <laughs> and they made him gay. Most importantly, they made him gay. That's all you have to do to make a character interesting is just to make them like, like dick, bro. That's it. That's it. One trait anyone can relate to. Sag Afro writers hate this one trick to making their characters likable. You haven't had your just dessert, sir. <laughs> okay, KO's Mario accent is kind of crazy, bro. Dude, I wore the best fucking hat for this episode right now. Oh, you're still wearing that shit? I can't see your camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been wearing that shit. It's a me. <laughs> Oh my god, he's got the baddest body I've ever seen in my life. Wait, he has abs still? Okay, he's the fat guy with abs. I love that shit. I respect that shit. Oh my god, the frame was crazy. That frame was insane. Oh, oh, oh. You still want me? Sounds like Muscle Man breaking down right now. <laughs> you, you still want my robots? Purple guy's so hot, bro. Dude, like, I know you said this is one of the best Cartoon Network shows in, like, the first two minutes of the show, but I'm beginning to feel that with this show. I told you, bro. I told you. I love this, like, a lot. I'm surprised you didn't, like, absolutely love it, like, frame one. This feels like a Jack show. Like, this is a you show. I just feel like it keeps getting better. So, I should buy a really expensive frame? Yes, I'll get the most expensive one we have. What? <laughs> there is a literal super villain across the street and these guys are the worst. Also, the text on this guy's shirt keeps changing. It said hungry at first and now it says analogy. Oh, it's changing to his mood. That's so funny. No, I, I'm pretty sure we realized this like in the last recording, but to be fair, it's been like over two weeks since we watched the show. That's funny. Mommy? <laughs> Why are they laughing like that? Like, literally, what is wrong with giving your mom something that says mom on it? It's your fucking mom. This is so mean. They just stole his cute little art he made for his mom just because this fat fuck was hungry. Like, there's a convenience store like a one minute walk away from you, dude. Took down the infamous cactus crew and it was the talk of the town for weeks after. Such a baddie. Is she did a hate crime against cactus people? Are we seriously celebrating? Like, cactus people are a minority in OKKO. OK she committed an amazing hate crime all right now to make some calls he's just like kidnapping someone so his mom <laughs> can beat him up like what and he's got a frog phone case so oh, he got that from dendy bro they're building it up so when season 27 comes along like him and dendy get married you know what i mean come on out and face me he's all old and geriatric now like what the hell his fit is crazy though let's be honest suck you is that you? Suck you, Lentis. That's my nickname. He must be good at his job, bro. He must have been doing favors since day one. Suck you, Lentis, bro. His name, his name in college, man. Suck me, Lentis. Lentil. Le I want to suck on some lentils, bro. <laughs> This feels like an Eminem song. This is like System of a Down or something. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. It's a corn reference? Oh, the guy from corn voices him. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, my little dumbbell. <laughs> they bonked that sound effect, bro. They bonked his fucking ass in the middle of the wholesome moment. <laughs> What do you say we go home and play that game? Yeah, 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 yeah. No one's gonna sub to BBQ Lover 7 on YouTube, bro. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm subbing right now. We all be fucking with BBQ Lover 7. Yeah, no, we stand BBQ Lover 8. Yo, guys, go subscribe to BBQ Lover 8 on YouTube. <laughs> and also subscribe to us. Uh, go to the Patreon for the uncut video. Alejandro Paredes, Atomic Leon, Bento, Kane Rivers, Kamalu, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Daryl Herb, Diane Stalk, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Grenado, Gub Stargazer, Gummy Brain Rot, Gunny Snow Unison, Helio, I Pegged Brett Hand, Isaiah Alford, Conway, Catherine Wright, Night VDB, Leaf, Lilac Moon, My Artistry, Master Nate, Matthew Byers, Mauer, Solomon Graber, Native, Nick, Obama Gaming, Omega Waffles, Pitchin' Witch, Him is Best Boy, Rain, Steven Sanchez, Sunny D, Tyrant Sills, Toast, Ultimate Parson, Bell Explicit, Victoria, Wyatt Lund.